During COVID-19 infection, plus-stranded RNA induces bending of paired ER membranes and closes them into double membrane vesicles, also known as DMVs. These DMVs are essential for RNA replication. After completing replication within double membrane vesicles, the subgenomic mRNA strands is subsequently released through the pore. In the cytosol, viral genomic RNA strands bind with the nucleocapsid protein, also known as the N protein, to form a helical nucleocapsid structure in a mature virion, known as a ribonucleoprotein. This complex is then transported to the assembly area. At the rough ER, subgenomic mRNAs are transcribed into the membrane, spike and envelope transmembrane proteins. This process occurs co-translationally. These proteins move along the ER membrane and bud off into COP2 coded vesicles, migrating to the area of assembly. The ERGIC or the Golgi apparatus membranes. Unlike other structural proteins, the N protein is presumably synthesized in free ribosomes, which allow it to end up in the cytoplasm to then join viral RNA. The vesicles fuse with them, after which the spike protein, envelope and membrane proteins begin interacting with each other to initiate envelope development. Membrane proteins interact to form a basic molecular framework of the viral envelope. Envelope and membrane proteins interact to cause the rounded shape of the envelope. while membrane and spike proteins interact to assemble the viral spikes. The next step will be the interaction of ribonucleoproteins with membrane proteins, which will then attach the genome to the membrane at its C-terminus. The ribonucleoproteins will begin to coil to the shape of the membrane. The almost completed virus-like particle will close the ends of the newly made capsid due to the interaction of membrane and envelope proteins. This results in a ready functioning structure, which will then be transported outside the cell through its secretory pathway.